All right, guys, so now that we have the IP address of a target, of a server, whatever, what I want to do now is I want to show you guys how to run an Nmap scan from Python. Now, hopefully you guys watched my Nmap tutorials, and if you did, then you already are going to know what this is. But if you didn't, real quick, what this tool is, is basically a tool that allows you to scan a server and find out what processes are running and what ports are open. So, for example, I'm just going to run a real fast scan of this. So, right, Nmap, whatever options, and this just means run a fast scan. Don't scan all the ports, just scan the most common ones. And then you give the IP address. So this is my server of the newboston.com. I'm going to hit enter. And on my server right here, we are running SSH. And of course, we're hosting my website. So we're running HTTP and HTTPS. Now, this can also tell you if they're running FTP, if they're running MySQL. So, for example, if they have a database uh, running on it, and a bunch of other good information. But what we want to do is we want to run this from Python and also another thing I was thinking is this so there are a bunch of different options or ways that you can use this tool and what one do I want to build in to our Python scanner so do I just want to build the regular one or do I want to build this fast one which gives you you know the real quick one or do I want to build an aggressive one which gives you a really you know detailed view of it and I just wasn't sure I didn't know how the end users are going to use this tool so instead what we're going to do is we're going to add another parameter for the options. So this function is going to have take two parameters. The first one is any options if they want to include any at all. And the second one is the target IP. And from there we can let them decide which kind of scan they want to run. So let me just make a new file. And I'll just name it nmap.py. All right, so import OS, and I'll just write git nmap, and again, this is going to take two parameters. The first one is options, and the second one is the IP address. So we're actually going to be passing in this one for them, since we already found out how to get the IP address in the last tutorial. And remember, the format of this command is the word nmap, and then your options, and then the IP address of your target server. So the command equals nmap and then we'll write not open options and then make sure you add a space after this and then the IP address of the target server. Now take note of this. What if that they don't include any options at all? What if they just want to run a normal nmap? Where well, that's going to be fine because even though that we have the extra space, let me clear this so you guys can see. Even though that we have that extra space, it doesn't matter because you can have as many spaces as you want in here. And as long as you write it in the correct format, nmap whatever whatever the new boston.com and this is going to take a while because it's not a fast scan but you guys are going to see you get the same results so it doesn't matter if they leave out those options or not they are optional pun intended all right so the next thing we want to do is of course just run this process like before so operating system pop in p open actually that's what it's type in our command so run this and this is going to actually store the process. Now we need to convert it to a string before. So results equal stringify, whatever command we did, process.read. So again, right here, we're building the process, opening up the terminal, essentially. And now we just got all these results. And we converted it to a string and we stored that in the variable results. And now all we have to do is return those return results. And you can actually parse this if you want. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to return this whole thing. I don't know what information that they're going for. Hold on, I lost my. Uh... Got to get all this organized. All right. Now, just to verify that this works, what we can do is we can print get nmap, and for 
this first option, I'm just going to run a fast scan again. And for the second one, I don't even know. What is my IP address? This right here. All right, so hopefully if we didn't mess anything up, check it out. So it's going to run a fast scan and boom, roast. there you go. So it runs the scan, it stringifies it, and it returns the results right here. So later on, we're going to be saving this to a text file. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you run an Nmap scan in Python. Looking beautiful. I'll see you guys in the next video.